Uh, attention Walmart shoppers. The juice is loose. Hang on, hang on. The juice is loose. That's <laughs> uh, fine, whatever. <laughs> Anyway, Look, I can't, with, I can't help but that I can do a somewhat decent movie Beetlejuice voice. Yeah, you can do a pretty decent Michael Keaton. Be better than I could Alex Brightman. Yeah. Alex Brightman's hard to pull off. Yeah, you pulled off Alex pretty well, though. Uh, uh, In hang theory, on. yes. Uh, mm, I... Let me reword that sentence. I refuse. You will <laughs> phrase it that way, and that is how it's going to be. <laughs> so anyway, we decided to swing into Walmart because we had to grab a couple of things. And we found this. We found Fanta Haunted Apple. That is an official movie partner of the Beetlejuice sequel. The, the, the name. Like, I understand why it's Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, but no. But you know when they make the third one, they're going to call it Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Yep. Which is going to be absolutely fucking stupid. Oh, yeah. Did you hear that Michael Keaton said that, had gone on record saying that he promises Beetlejuice 2 is going to be better than the original? He can promise a lot of things. I don't know if I... I can sm There's a lot Whoa. of things. Whoa! Like first sip. First sip? First sip. Uh, we'll get some slight B-roll when we get back to the house of what color this is. <laughs> oh, oh! Oh, what just happened to my taste buds? It's like an apple pie? Sort of? What just happened to my taste buds? That is such a strange first sip. Spiced apple soda. It's a fucking cider soda. You don't seem like you're a fan. Not a fan? Mm-mm. Oh. It's that aftertaste. Like, that aftertaste makes me want to vomit. The taste of the soda is actually really fucking good. And that's why I hate that I'm never going to drink another can of this. Ah. Uh. I'm keeping a can of it, yeah. so that I can have it on my display shelf. Yeah. But you are free to take the remaining ten that's going to be there. Okay. Because I like that a lot. The aftertaste is odd. I was not prepared because I didn't even bother seeing what it was supposed to be, just other than haunted apple. Now that I see it, spiced apple soda. It's like, yeah, that is like apple cider, apple pie, somewhere in that. Yeah. Here's my thing. I'm going to rank it kind of high. Yeah. But the aftertaste will knock points off. Yeah. But I'm going to rank it high because the soda yeah. tastes phenomenal. Yeah. It's just the aftertaste that makes me want to vomit and never get this again. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to give it a six. Okay. Because, I mean, again, I, I don't it's like the aftertaste. The aftertaste it's the aftertaste for me that knocks off so many points. Yeah. This is not something I'm going to drink often. But it is definitely one I'm going to have around. Mm -hmm. uh, oh god. Sorry, just seeing who's texting me. Oh, you're good. Uh, bu uh. Oh, you're yeah. good. I'm gonna rate this like a like an eight. This is good. Yeah, like honestly, See, it's it, weird as fuck. If it wasn't good. if it wasn't for the aftertaste, that's that would get an eight. Yeah. But you gotta take off a couple of points. Yeah, but the aftertaste. That's a really nice pie. But for me, for me, what I look for in a drink is not is obviously the initial impression of the first sip. Yeah. But what I care more about is the aftertaste. Yeah. Because a, a drink can taste fucking horrendous. Yeah. But if I like the aftertaste of it, I'm going to get it. We've seen a couple of those. Oh yeah. And we've also we've also seen, had, and reviewed some drinks that taste horrendous, and have a horrendous aftertaste. Nope. See the fucking turkey and gravy soda. <laughs> I still love that for existing. <laughs> and to be fair, for what it is, turkey and gravy soda was a very good representation of that concept. That does not mean the concept should exist. <laughs> it should not even come close to existing. But it does. Excuse me. How'd that taste? I still taste ham from the pizza. <laughs> which is valid. distressing to have under apple. Uh-huh, I imagine. Uh, I'll get the natural grass and chicken. Mm. But... <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to say that. We're good. 
to say it off camera then. I'm not even going to do that. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> there was a thing that popped in my head. I was like, huh, shouldn't say that. And then every other voice in the head was like, yep, nope, you shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> and you're actually going to listen to them for once. For once, I'm going to listen to them because I'm thinking the back of it. It's like, mm, no, no, I don't think I'm going to say those words out loud. That's valid. But anyways, um, that's about all I can say for these. Yeah. It's it's an experience. If nothing else, I don't know if I can get a 12 pack of them. If you can find it in a bottle, try that. This itself is strange and unusual. Yeah. Literally. It is a weird bitch. But then again, so is Beetlejuice. So is the man. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he's on the can. It's got a lot going for it, and then there's just like. Mm, 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 mm. Maybe not that one. Yeah. But, yeah, that's about all I can say for this one. See you guys. See you, folks.